What's up guys, John from JohnMcNeil.com here and I wanted to create this quick video for you guys today to show you actually how you can collect money with PayPal. Uh, specifically PayPal's invoicing service. Now, using the PayPal invoicing service is very professional. It's not like just getting someone's email address and telling them to send you money. So a lot of my coaching clients I've been working with over the past year or so, they're at the point where they're growing their business, they're growing their list, and a number of them are actually providing products and different services to people that are on their list and they want to know how they can actually collect money. Money. So in this video today, I'm going to show you a professional way to collect the money, whether it's a one-time payment or if you want to actually make recurring monthly payments or quarterly payments or annual payments. I'm going to show you how you can actually do it within PayPal and automate the whole process. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys, so it's going to jump right into this video. So I'm inside of my PayPal account and the what you want to do in order to create an invoice, a professional invoice is you want to go up to tools and click on invoicing. And when you click on invoicing, it'll actually bring you to this screen here. And then you would just click create invoice. And this is gonna actually bring you to the actual invoicing template here. Um, it's very professional. So again, look, we're gonna walk you through this whole process. Um, they give you the ability to actually upload a company logo. Again, that's gonna add some branding. It's gonna add some professionalism to it. So you can actually upload an image from your computer. And then um, up over here to the right, it has the frequency. So this is basically set up for a one-time payment. You have your invoice number, you have the invoice date, and this is actually due on the receipt that the person receives the invoice. So that's when the actual invoice is due. They need to pay it when they receive it. If you wanted to make a grace period for the person to actually pay, you can actually switch that and you can have due in 15 days, due in 30 days, due in 45 days, due in 90 days, whatever you decide to do. The next thing you want to do is choose the type of product or service that you're actually providing. So you can actually just go over here to type and you click on this little button. So it could be digital goods, it can be a service. And then here in this bill to line is where you want to actually put the email address of the person that you're actually invoicing, right? So you're gonna put their email address here. And then as we scroll down, we have customize. And basically you can change this to amount only because you're probably just going to be charging them an amount for a good or a service. And then here you can actually put in a little description. So I could put in John's coaching services. And then if I wanted to write a brief description on you know, what they're actually paying for, what they're getting in the coaching, so I can actually put that detailed description here, that's optional. And then I can actually put the amount. So I can put you know, $500 is the amount. And then no tax. And then if you had other services that you're billing for, you can add a line here and just continue to add different services and it'll all tally here at the bottom. But I'm just gonna leave this like it is. So now I have my professional invoice. I can leave a note to the recipient saying thank you for your business here. I can have terms and conditions. I can have uh, information on recent refund policies. And then basically once this is complete, um, I can go ahead and preview it and then I can uh, send it, right? So one of the things before I actually show you that is I wanna show you where like if you're doing some sort of service, maybe you're doing some social media for a client, maybe you're doing some sort of technical maintenance for somebody, maybe it's coaching that you're doing on a monthly basis, you can actually set this up to basically uh, send the invoice to that person every single month. So we talked about here where it said frequency and this was a one-time payment. Well, you can actually pull down that little drop down, and you can actually change the frequency to one week, one month, one year, or even quarterly. So if you're providing like a service to somebody and it's kind of be like a monthly fee, you can actually set this up on a monthly basis and this invoice will go out to that person 
every single month like clockwork they'll get their invoice just like they get a regular bill and it just makes it very professional you don't forget about charging them and it just keeps all your finances clean and accounted for so again you would just go down here to the bottom and when you're ready to send it you can actually send it via paypal and paypal will actually send the invoice out to that person that you set in the bill to area or you can actually click on share the link myself and you can actually copy this link and then you can actually email it to the person that you are actually trying to send it to um, and then once you do that, basically it will pop back over into the uh, manage invoices area. So this is basically where you can manage all your invoices. And as you can see, this invoice that I just created was a dummy invoice, but you can see the status is unpaid here. You can see I had some other invoices in here a couple months ago that I had to send out for some services to a client and those are actual paid. So anyway, guys, I wanted to make this quick video so you guys can see that it's very easy to collect money online and I really wanted to share this with you guys because uh, some of my clients were going through all of these different barriers in regards to trying to use these different merchant accounts that had all these requirements and had all these different fees. And you can actually do all of this straight through PayPal. So I wanted to make sure that you guys had this information so that you can collect your money and just automate the entire process. So this is John from JohnMcNeil.com. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got a little value from it. And I hope that actually helped out some individuals that are trying to collect money online. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.